All right. I'm just gonna make this clear so people don't get confused. And yes, I'm wearing a military hat now. <laughs> it's kind of tight because <laughs> I bought this years ago, and it's kind of tight, but not too much. Anyways, you're probably guessing what this means. Means so. <clears throat> so a while ago, I posted a video on my Ark Survival server about a few tiny rules about the game, name, or at least the server. And now I'm going, and during one of those rules, I told about my involvement in tribe wars and, and other battles, etc. I'm here to talk more about that, because uh, sometimes, because what I said, it can get kind of confused, and I just want to clear up more of what I meant by that. So, anyways, straight to tribe wars. So, so, no, oh, technically... He, someone can ask me to, uh, who get involved into a tribe war, depending on, on who it is, so I can pick a side on, on who I want to be with. And, uh, one thing I didn't clearly state is, uh, technically, he, uh, I'm gonna try fighting fair. So that means, uh, I'm like, I can't die, he, uh, while I'm creative mode, I think. I've seen someone die by Giga in creative mode before, but I think they removed that. I think the way I have set the game, so that way I can't die like that. So, technically, he, well, technically I'll fight fair, though. So that means I won't go spamming with uh, C4 and blowing up everything, or spamming with a friggin' rocket launcher and everything. And, although I will still use an assault rifle and bow and arrow as long as I wish because that's kind of fair because just about everyone can do that but c4 and but c4 and other stuff huff i will that's something i'm not gonna spam too much because too many grenades and too many other types of explosive weapons is gonna get highly annoying very fast so i'm gonna fight fair and use uh unlimited ammo guns and that's it oh hold on one minute so yeah, so everyone has a fair chance instead of me going overpowered and everyone because I'm like I'm a creative mode So I might as well play fair instead of being overpowered now The only time I will be overpowered is if if these wars get involved in any territory of mine or at least a community territory So community territories are technically the areas where it's out for everyone That means everyone can use them etc. Just for long as nobody else tries taking control of it which means building forts around it, etc. Uh, so, yeah. If so, if anyone tries building around my hit, around the community areas or try to block them off, off, or at least try taking over the community zones or possibly blow it up, which I really hope someone doesn't even think about, because if someone thinks about it, they are so dead. So, if anyone thinks about that, I am automatically involved and immediately against those people. So. I will literally spam the crap out of, out of their bases, blow them up wide open, and, and people can shoot at me as far as I know, but they ain't gonna take me down. So, if you get involved anywhere near those, those and destroy something there, or at least try sealing it off, I get involved automatically and target that person who done it. <clears throat> so yeah, don't build around the community territories, because because technically that's for everyone. I mean anyone, friend or foe. Oh, just make sure you don't cause destruction or a fight over there. So yeah. And I'm is the hat and everything. So So yeah, so anything owned by my tribe, everyone stays away from or uh, or at least doesn't don't fight there because technically that's my territory he for everyone to use and I don't want everyone sealing that off because that's for everyone obviously so yeah so other than that areas away from uh, community territory he you are completely fine and just for long you can build anywhere away from my ter from community territory, and you can throw wars around as much as you like, just for long as my territory isn't attacked. And obviously, I'm gonna be recruiting in people for my clan, and so they can run the shops and everything, and defend and a fort that I'm gonna be placing down. Cause, 
because there's going to be a fort placed down somewhere or in the map because uh, because technically I need to put down on, on my foot somewhere and that's going to be in the center at least so the center is probably going to be community territory at least so yeah so the center is like a lake area so that means any ground attacks is probably going to uh, result pretty badly for anybody but that's but anyone who tries attacking the fort is not going to have too much luck unless they have range on their side. It, but that's probably not going to work out either, because unlike the unlike the community territory villages, is the fort's going to be heavily reinforced with the toughest stuff possible, and that's going to be tech. So if anyone thinks about it, they're likely dead meat. Because it's going to be surrounded by a bunch of stuff I am not saying because people will learn how to take it down that way. And if anyone then tries causing trouble in the community areas, as, or at least try breaking the rules, well, there's going to be a prison built, built at least away from the community areas, so just in case anything goes wrong, um, technically uh, it'll be away from the people, so that way not much chaos can spread. So there's going to be a prison for those who who uh, disobeyed the rules. So so prisoners will be handcuffed, put in somewhere, er, and etc. And the place will be obviously heavily guarded in, in his own. So I'm not specifying where I'm putting it. I still have to figure it out because I never really explored the entire area. But all I know is is the lake that the lake that the community territories are being in is, is in the center. So I can't put the prison there because the center is an easy target. So yeah, so it's gonna be away from the center at least, so that's gonna be a hint. But I still have to figure out where I'm gonna put it, cause obviously I don't know where to put it yet. But you may feel free to build around the te the prison if you'd like, cause uh, technically, uh, cause technically it's gonna be heavily defended anyways, and I highly doubt anyone's gonna get in there to begin with. So other than that, uh. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna be involved. But if anyone attacks the prison, and I automatically get involved because those are community he, uh, people. But those ones I won't go overpower on, on just for long as they don't cause too much destruction. Anyway, so uh, thanks for anyone who watched this. This <clears throat> do keep an eye out for for the server. It's because it's coming out eventually. Hopefully this week. I'm aiming for it. <clears throat> oh, and by the way. If anyone who follows my Instagram, which is at uh, TPD Isaor, which is T P D I S A O R, in Instagram, and I've been posting teasers about the buildings and what the, everything looks like so far. I only have like four buildings up so far, her. So, and I'll, I've been posting, and a lot of people has been showing support for it because I've been putting hashtag Arc Survival and Arc Survival PS4. And a lot of people has been leaving likes and showing support for it, so I'm happy about that. Thank you so much for those who have been showing support so far. And yeah, I'll learn that uh, before I run out of time because I have a time, ten limit, time, ten minute limit. So other than that, thank you for watching this and getting understanding. I hope you like this. If you do, do leave a like. If you want to see more content and of Arc or more updates on it, please click the subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye and peace out everyone. And psh, I almost forgot to do the friggin' uh, wave there. <laughs> uh, uh, the one thing you wish you can edit these videos again.